ladies, it's Kara from iStampin.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I wanted to show you this really cute um, congratulations card for somebody who is a new homeowner. That's uh, kind of what I thought uh, would would be the inspiration for this card. Um, and uh, I'm actually using some celebration items that I just, um, I'm finally getting ar around to using them here in the final month of celebration. So um, here, this these little cute little houses, that is actually using the You Brighten My Day stamp set. And if you remember from my last video, um, I used that image, so now I'm using this cute little house. And the great thing about this image um, is that we have a coordinating uh, punch. It's the what's up punch. So this um, arrow uh, right here matches this image. So it's real easy to punch out. Um, if you don't have the punch, I mean, this is a pretty simple uh, image to cut out by hand, but if you do have that, that's great. Um, also, I'm using the large polka dots um, texture impressions embossing folder. Uh, that's what gave me that large um, polka dot um, texture on the back of the note card. And then, uh, let's see, the congratulations, that's coming from the Something to Say stamp set right here. Whoops. And uh, if also in the last video um, that I recorded, I used that stamp set as well. So, um, kind of using a uh, couple of same stamp sets and you can see uh, what all you can make, the different types of cards you can make. Um, the ink colors that I've chosen today is Crumb Cake, um, Old Olive, and then uh, Crushed Curry. And I did do some white embossing on um, this red cardstock, so you'll need some real red cardstock. Um, I cut the Whisper White um, or actually, excuse me, I cut the crumb cake um, piece of cardstock down to three and a half by five. And then um, this panel is gonna be, is a little bit larger. I, um, I'm actually gonna cut it down and make it a little bit smaller for the sample that um, I use uh, to make this, uh, to make the card on video. And then this is just some of that celebration um, free ribbon from the best year accessory ever pack. Okay, all right, so let's get started. This is a really simple, um, card. Uh, so the first things that I did is I went ahead and made my card base. So um, this measures, um, gosh, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> this measures seven by by five, and I scored it at three and a half. So that makes it a note card um, size. And then if you wanted to do a matching envelope, you would just take your crumb cake cardstock and use the uh, envelope punch board and you would have a custom matching envelope. All right. And then what I've done here is, like I said, um, this this panel is, uh, is a little bit larger. I wanted to make it smaller. So what I did is I cut this down to three by uh, four and a half. So three by four and a half, and I already ran it through my texture boutique using the large polka dots embossing folder. All right, so that's just gonna go right on top of there. But first, let's do some stamping. Um, I'm going to be using uh, crushed curry and old olive on Whisper White to um, stamp out the houses. And then after that, I will be uh, using the What's Up Punch to cut it out. All right, and I'm gonna use the Old Olive. And I'm stamping the images close to the bottom because if you look at the back side of the punch, um, I don't want to necessarily punch that out. So you'll just line it up and punch like so. Okay, and then you are going to do the same thing. Um, with the punch, or excuse me, with the stamp, 
just clean it off in between. Now, um, I I want to white emboss this, so I've got a piece of red cardstock. You want to use your embossing buddy so that the um, white embossing powder won't uh, stick to other places, and you want to use Versamark. So, just going to get out your Versamark pad and ink that up. And Versamark is just a clear, sticky ink that is great for embossing. Okay, and then you just want to get out your white embossing powder. I keep mine in this cute little container. With the spoon, there's the spoon. And then I just sprinkled the powder right over it. Shake off the rest so it's going to look like that. And then from here, you're going to want to use your heat tool and heat that up. Okay, so I've used the heat tool to heat it up and I'm just going to punch that out. Alright, so I've got all three of my images right there. Then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to take your congratulations stamp. Whoop. <laughs> congratulations stamp and that's coming from the something to say stamp set and uh, use your crumb cake ink and just a scrap of whisper white and you're just gonna stamp it right there in the middle all right just like that and so here I've cut out my congratulations using my trimmer I just get a lot better um, straighter edges using that than doing it by hand. But I am going to make the um, banner edges with my scissors. So uh, what I like to do is just cut right here in the middle and then just meet the edges. Just go from the edges. Okay, and then just do the same to the other side. Just take your scissors and just meet the notch in the middle. Okay, and then it will look like so. All right, this card comes together really quickly. All right, so what we're gonna do here is just kind of place the houses before I ad adhere them just to make sure that it's balanced on either side. So that looks good. So I'm just going to use my snail and just do that with the houses. And this is a really fun stamp set. A lot of cute images, a lot of different things that you can do with it. There's um, a little yay stamp so you can do something that's like congratulatory to a friend. Actually, I need to move this one over just a tad. There's, so let's see what else is there. So there's a yay. There's um, there is always something to be thankful for. So you can make a thankful card, a thank you card, and that uses um, the the note tag punch that was in the um, holiday catalog. So this is a really fun um, stamp set, and you know, like I said. Uh, Celebration's ending at the end of this month, so you just have a little less than a couple of weeks left to um, get it for free. And the way you can get it for free is if you spend $50 or more, you can pick out a free item from Celebration Catalog. So what I've done here is I've just uh, added dimensionals to the front just to give the card a little dimension, pop it up. So I'm just going to kind of offset it a little bit lower on the card so that the red is the focal point. And then I'm taking that ribbon from the Best Year Ever Accessory Pack and I am just going to be wrapping it around the card front like so. Actually I probably cut off more than I need. Just kind of just like so and I'm going to just use some scotch tape and tape it on the back side so if you have any new neighbors in your house 
I mean, in your house, if you have any new neighbors in your um, neighborhood, or if you have any friends who are moving, just getting a first time house, you know, any family members like that, this is such a cute card um, to make for them. So I put dimensionals on the back. So I'm just going to center that right there and kind of have it go in the middle of the ribbon like so. Okay. And like I was saying, you could stitch on the outline of here if you wanted to give it some dimension. I think that would be really cute. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my snail and just put it here in the middle of the card. I know the panel's gonna go. And just press it down. And there you have it. Just a sweet uh, congratulations card to somebody who's just a first time home buyer or moved into the neighborhood, a friend that's moved. Just, um, just a nice way to say welcome to the neighborhood. All right. Ladies, if you have any questions over the items um, that I've used today, uh, just leave a comment below and I will be more than happy to help you out. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.